Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. Hey guys, Iggy with Dragon Blogger back again. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the Sapphire Radeon Pulse RX570 Mini Card. That's the box, and I'm just going to put my hand on the case itself to get rid of any ESD on my hands. And here is the card itself, little teeny tiny card. So first off, before I put this card in, I'm going to be upgrading my card. I have the Sapphire Radeon Pulse RX 550 card in here. So I'm going to be going from the 550 to the 570. I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. So first off, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. All right, here's the card itself. First off, what I'm going to do is I am going to remove the screws for the video card itself. Just unscrew it from here. And now that the card has been unscrewed, so that way you can pull it out, but you can't just pull it out. It's not going to go anywhere. If you see back here, there's a little teeny tiny clip. That clip is holding the card in place. So I'm going to show you real quick on how to remove that clip. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. Okay, so now you can see the clip right here. Kind of looks like my finger kind of just clicked. So, the way you remove it is, first off, you hold the card, push down on that little clip, and just pull the card out. It comes out really easy. Right, so there you go, the card's out. I'm going to put that aside for now. And now I'm going to go ahead and zoom out real quick. Okay, so this card, the RX570 ITX, is a double slot card. So I've only removed back here only one of the PCIe covers. See that back here in the back of the case? I've only removed one, so I'm going to need to remove this one as well. So we'll just first go ahead and unscrew that one. Now this is a full case, a full ATX case. So I'm going to have a lot of room when I put this card in. This particular card is made for ITX cases. So you can fit it in your ITX case. It's only 6.7 inches or to be exact 6.69 .6 inches. Okay, so now we're going to insert this the PCIe slot of the card or socket well slot into this socket right here okay that's the PCIe slot so what we're going to do is match up this part of the card and it might be easier to leave these little guys here these just protect the ports from damage so that we can slide them back here makes it easier to align the card into the PCIe slot now another thing that I was mentioning about this little clip right here is when you pop that card in that clip is going to go click locking in place so I'm just going to go ahead and do it real quick and then I'm going to pull the card out and zoom you in a little closer so you can see how it locks in so first off just pop the card in into the slot itself okay and then you can see back here the little DVI, HDMI, and display port, they're sticking out and they're perfect in there. And then over here we can see the PCIe slot, and now we just push in. Okay, and that's basically it. Now, of course, we do have to screw in the card over here, which keeps the card stabilized, you know, if you're going to ship it, or, you know, if, even if it's on your desk, just to keep it stabilized. And then 
next what we need to do is install the six pin PCIe port for power. But before that, again, let me show you just how that little clip works. So one sec while I zoom in. All right, so again, I'm just going to hold it down and pull the card out. Okay, now again, look here real close. Okay, it's gonna go in. You saw that, it just went a quick click. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and then screw the card in. Do the bottom one first. And now the top one. All right, that's about it. So now all we need to do is Plug in the PCIe 6 pin. All right, and that's about it. You're ready to game, so of course, you are going to need to remove these guys and they're not always the easiest to remove and then these guys are a lot easier to remove <clears throat> now you've got your DVI HDMI and display port I might need to clean up the cabling a little tiny bit let me zoom out all right and that's about it so now you've just installed the Sapphire Radeon Pulse RX570 Mini or ITX 4 gigabyte card. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.